Hey, to my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Tourism. I'll tell you, this is Sky Hurricane 89, and hope you're having a very good day. In, in the last part, we did the four wheel drive challenge, and now I want to go ahead and do the compact car cup. So, I, although I do have some cars like the Citroën and Saxo that could do this, um, I think I want to go ahead and I'm going to have to buy some cars for the manufacturer events anyway. So, I'm going to try to use di another different car. So, let's go to East City, because. Lord knows there are plenty of compact cars here, don't <laughs> And uh, let's see. We haven't been to Dehatsu. So let's look at Dehatsu. Let's see what they got. I want to buy a story. So do they, they don't have a story. Darn it. We'll have to go to No then. Let's see. Story. Uh, these are all pretty cheap. Cool. The Storia X4. This one probably will be the best one. 118 horsepower. And I believe this... Um, this actually was used for rally. And they actually have a $1 million special model Storia. And I don't think it's near as good as the other... As some of the other rally cars that you can get for cheaper. But uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Had such a small engine car that could be as competitive as it is. But, um, you know, you could pause this if you're interested. The Motorsports model at 1,840 pounds is also the lightest all-wheel drive story. With the combination of lightweight and power that make for impressive all-wheel drive performance, this model has been a shining success at rallies, dirt track races, and other competitions. So, yeah, let's get in this, let's get this little thing here. It's pretty cheap, too. And just do a minor amount of tuning. I don't want to do too much. And uh, there will be a manufacturer race for this. Just to show you the oh, all kinds of different colors. Yeah, we'll probably have to buy one of those eventually. This is pretty cheap, but yeah, just 1200 I mean, might as well get it. 1200 that's not asking too much. Get our racing soft tires. And I don't think I'm going to buy a sus racing suspension for this. For one thing, I don't have much time. we got 20 minutes before I need to go to work. So got to be in turbo mode. Okay, we'll get stage two of this. I think I can get some other cheap things. About this can get an intercooler. Highly doubt it. Oh, it can. Okay. Well, that's cheap. Might as well go for it. This thing's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap to tune up. So far, we don't have much in this car. Around fifty thousand. Yeah, that's well worth it, I think. Because uh, I think like the horsepower limit on this is like 246, so we want to get relatively close to that. Computer's always cheap, so let's get that. And then that's all I'm going to buy. The only thing is, this being a car like it is, it uh, may not have very high top speed, but... The other ones probably shouldn't either. Well, none of these aren't even high speed tracks, so I don't know what I'm worried about. Let's just do it. These are all very curvy, very low speed tracks where the corners are what is going to count. So, and since I didn't buy such racing suspension, I don't have anything I really need to change on the settings. Hopefully, this thing will still corner well enough. Never was a big fan of Rome short course, though, I have to say. Well, we passed that little Toyota Vitz there. This car fits right in. And, oh, there's another Citroen Saxo. See, I, I could have picked it. Oh, golly, this thing does turn really well. Oh my goodness, it's so slow though compared to the Audi TT. But it does have half the horsepower. 
So as you might expect. And uh, you gotta be careful, cause yeah, the computers, they will suicide into that uh, corner. And they will knock you out of the way to do it. They don't, they do not care. <laughs> That's one reason I'm not a big fan of this track, although it is kind of hilarious in a way. Oh gosh. It's like I kind of screwed up there. Yay, Sky, yay. Oh, come on, story. Yeah, I definitely need advice suspension. I could have taken that curve a little bit faster. Yeah, the Mazda, Mazda Demio would have been a good choice for this. And I already had that in my garage. And I think there's a Demio race as well. Oh man, I I did like the computers though. And that did not give me a good exiting speed. And now they're gaining on me. Which is not a good thing. They're not gaining on me too much. Okay, I slowed down too much there. Oh, look at y'all. That little green one kind of screwed up. Which I think it's the vids. Right, we got this. Rome short course was a but uh, I can't talk. Was a success. Almost second lead. No, the yellow car was the bits. What was that green one then? The logo was that the green car? Oh, it was okay. Well, that is a boxy car. Of course, all of these are. Aren't they? The vids, it's really not as boxy. I don't know, I mean, see the curves and stuff it has? It's, like, this is just a box, I mean. The, uh, the Clio is not. I don't even know, y'all. The DBL is pretty boxy, too. Good job, my little story -a. And good job, controller, turning yourself off. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Heck, this car actually might, uh, might pay for itself nearly. Especially once we do the manufacturer. When I... The thing is, for the manufacturer races, you ended up having to pay like eight, eighty to 85000 for the racing modifications. And there's no way you're going to make that back. Just from winning a 5,000, 10,000 credit race. Alright. Seattle short course. So at least they're giving the short courses. This might be a pretty short video. Short, short, short. What are we racing now? Looks like a Cleo and a. Oh, what's the name of that car? An Opal Corsa? Is that what that little orange thing is? That's a car that I never picked. Uh, the only time I ever picked it was when me and my little brother would play Grand Turismo 4. I don't know what that little orange one to the left of me is there. That's not a course it is. Or are there two courses? It looks a little different. This thing does corner fairly well for what it is you know and I slow down way too much yeah that curve right there is easy to hit and then that one that wall I shouldn't have hit that come on now get with the program sky They are keeping up with me. They want me. They want my little Dahatsu. I think I tuned this car perfectly for this. Not too overpowered, not underpowered. Just right. Just ask Goldilocks. 
Look at him! Getting bold. Try to try to knock me out on that corner like that. Those little orange cars, man, they really want me. I don't know that black one's the one that almost knocked me out. I did it again, my goodness. And I'm very surprised that they did not gain on me there. Okay, that would be terrible to screw up on like the last couple corners. Bring back memories of the lightweight K cup, which, uh, granted, I was a uh, significantly less powerful than them, you know, in that. I mean, I just had enough power that, to where I could catch them enough on the curves, but then I would end up losing speed around the quarter because I should have chosen the manual instead of an automatic. Yeah, the Demio was the one that almost hit me on that curve. Demio. So yeah, they had two courses in that. Two of the exact same color and everything. Oh, game. Why do you do that? Still have above a million credits, so hanging on in there. Yeah, I'm thinking about in the next part, I might want to go ahead and do the Gran Turismo All-Stars. But I'm not sure. I may decide to go ahead and do them in order. At least until I about run out of money. I might be able to actually finish them all. Autumn Ring. It's just the Gran Turismo All-Stars races are the most fun for me. I mean, all of these are pretty fun, too. Especially when you're not ridiculously overpowered. Alright, let's do this. Autumn Marine. Track I'm very at home at. They're a little bit... They're actually out accelerating me. What do you know? Was that another open course? <laughs> We owe the vets. Oh, yeah, we out maneuvered y'all. Wonder if I can reach a hundred mile an hour in this car on the straight. I don't know if I've gotten this thing up to a hundred yet. I don't think it has a very high top speed, but and also rally cars don't tend to have a high top speed. Yeah, I'm sure I did get this up to 100. Just didn't pay attention. Probably on the Rome short course. Oh, Sky, why do you do these things? Why? All right, yeah, we should reach 100 here. Come on, there you go. 105. One thing I hadn't really uh, said much in, in this game, because I can't hardly hear the audio while I'm playing. But, uh... The game sound, the uh, the car sounds are really, really good. Like you can hear the turbos and stuff. The little whish that it makes whenever the turbos kicking in. It's pretty cool, especially for the more powerful turbocharged cars. I really like the way the Corvette sounded too. It sounded pretty cool. 
you know, every car has its own different little sounds. Really nice. Gran Turismo 2 might have actually been one of the better Gran Turismo's in that, believe it or not. Despite it being so much older than Gran Turismo 6. And we win. Yay. About one second. And let's see what we won. As much fun as it is, we're not going to watch the replay. I apologize if you wanted to see it. <laughs> I think I am going to get some different rims for this car. I'm not crazy about the rims on this one either. Yeah, let's see here what we can find. I still think that looks better. And let's see. Hmm. Let's see what all we still lack. So we lack the luxury sedan, the convertible, the historic car cup. And so three on that. And then the station wagon and the 80s sports car cup and the pure sports car cup. So that's six. And then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve more championships. And then of course rally races, and you can see there are standings. So about a quarter of the way through. So not doing too bad. Alright, let's see what we won. A hey, Lupo. Actually, uh, I know there's a Lupo race in Gran Turismo 3, but I don't think there is one in this one. I don't think. So I'm going to have to sell you, Lupo. I'm so sorry. Uh, not too sorry. Oh, I didn't even read the information. Sky darn you. Cleo 16 valve. There is a Cleo cup, but I think you have to have the Cleo Sport. But yeah, you can read this if you wish. 120 mile, 120 mile per hour top speed. <laughs> the Cleo Sport V6. Oh yeah, and that is a bad Mamba there. Not the hottest, not just the fastest Cleo, but the hottest hatchback ever made. Not talking about this car, obviously, but the, uh, the Sport V6. And the Vitz. Uh, I don't like red. Why y'all have to give me a red car? You can read the information here if you wish. I don't know if there's a Vitz trophy or not. There is a Vitz trophy. So I actually should be able to use this one. Excellent fuel economy. 108 horsepower, 6,000 RPMs, and curb weight. Ener energetic performance. Road manners are pleasantly surprising, too. The Echo is no boring transportation appliance. Front wheel drive vehicle, it has a McPherson strut front. Torsion beam rear suspension that combines drive comfort with entertaining handling. The Echo Plus, their Echo puts the fun and functional. So yeah, the Toyota Echo was, I think, what it was called in the U.S. But uh, it's called the Vitz elsewhere. This may be one of the few times y'all get to see me use a fringe or use a red car because I'm not a fan of red. Oh, I need to organize these, actually. Yep. 
I'm heading north city of Fort West City, and in Astoria, we'll have it be after Subaru. And the Vitz needs to be with Toyotas. There we go. So y'all, uh, not sure what we're going to do in the next part. We'll probably do one of those uh, easy races before we're getting on to like the GT All-Stars and stuff. So hope to see y'all there. This is Skyhawker 89 signing out. Hope you have a super awesome day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.